In this video, I'm going to show you how to stake the FET token on the Fetch AI mainnet. This will be a quick tutorial video, so without further ado, let's get right into the content and let the gains be with you. Welcome to Crypto Empire. My name is Connor, and this is where we dominate the crypto market. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. So staking FET on the mainnet. In order to do this method, you will need native FET tokens. You have two options to get those. Your first option is to bridge over your ERC20 FET tokens to, of course, the FET mainnet, or you can do what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video, which is get Cosmos Atom coins. Go ahead, send that to your Kepler wallet. Then we're gonna be using the Osmosis Frontier, not regular Osmosis, but the Frontier, to go ahead and acquire mainnet FET tokens, native FET, and then go ahead and stake those. So step number one is, of course, you will need FET tokens. So if you only have ERC20 FET right now, like I said, either bridge them over or use an exchange, swap them over to Atom, and then let's go ahead right now and I'll show you how to buy FET on the Osmosis Frontier. So first things first, of course, you will need your Kepler wallet. If you haven't set up your Kepler wallet yet, I will leave this link to the official Kepler website down in the description below for your convenience. And also, of course, the Osmosis Frontier. If you want to read up on what the Osmosis Frontier is, I will also leave this official Medium article from Osmosis in the description down below. All right, now let's hop on over to the Osmosis Frontier. So first things first, I have some Atom but it's in the Cosmos Hub and not on the Osmosis chain. So let's go ahead and deposit my Atom into Osmosis. So as you can see, I have 7.9 available. So let's go ahead and deposit five in to Osmosis right now with an IBC transfer. Go ahead and approve that transaction. And it should be relatively instant because Tendermint is very quick. As you can see, transaction is now successful. So from here, we should be able to reload the page and see our newly acquired Atom. Okay, perfect, the Atom has now showed up in my Osmosis wallet. So now let's go ahead to the trade section of Osmosis and we will go ahead and select FET as the token we wanna to swap to. And as you can see, it does pop up right here. So let's go ahead and swap over all five Atom and we will get 340 FET tokens, which we will then go ahead and stake. So we'll go ahead and swap despite the slippage of 7%. These pools on the Osmosis Frontier aren't very liquid just yet. I don't believe there is a liquidity pool that you can deposit into for FET just yet. I was looking at it before. Okay, so the transaction was successful now using 20% slippage, so keep that in mind. When you go and try this out on your own, you will have to up the slippage. And now if I scroll down, we should be able to see our FET balance in our Osmosis chain wallet. And yes, we did get 316 FET tokens. So we did lose a pretty decent amount to slippage there. We were supposed to get 340 and my Atom balance was around $107. So anyway, that cost about $10 in slippage right there. So keep that in mind going forward. It is actually best to bridge over your ERC20 FET. So you actually get the entire amount, although you will have to pay that ETH gas fee. Nonetheless, as you can see, there are no actual pools available for FET just yet. The pool would be down here, but as you can see, it's not yet available, which is why the slippage is so high. Anyway, that's how you get FET on the mainnet right away with Osmosis. Okay, now that we have native FET tokens in our Osmosis wallet, it's time to withdraw them to the Fetch Hub so we can go ahead and stake it on the mainnet. Now we will need our Fetch Hub address, and it is not added by default into Kepler, However, all we need to do is hit withdraw over here where it says fetch AI withdraw. And when we hit that, we will get the chain add request. All we have to do to add the fetch hub to our Kepler wallet is approve this. So let's approve that and then approve it again. And it will automatically populate our fetch AI mainnet wallet in here. We can now go ahead and withdraw all of our FET tokens to the fetch mainnet and approve the transaction, very simple to do. And just like that, we have successfully withdrawn our fetch tokens from the Osmosis chain to the fetch AI main chain. We can double check that in our wallet over here and see that fetch AI is over here. This is in beta support, right? So keep in mind, this is not financial advice. You were early doing this, right? Still in beta. 
So now that we have our fetch on the mainnet, it's time to stake it. To do so, we will head to the Fetch Block Explorer. I will leave this link down in the description below. This is directly from the Fetch AI official website. This is browse-fetchhub.fetchai slash validators. So here we can see all the validators that we can actually delegate our fetch to. But in order to do so, we will need to connect our wallet in the top right corner and approve the connection. Once we are connected, we will have the option to go ahead and delegate stake as you can see right here. Now you will need to pick out your own validator. Keep in mind there are the official ones such as Cosmos Station, right? They run a validator for every single IBC chain. And there are some kind of random ones that you need to be aware of and, and be careful, right? You don't want to delegate your fetch to some random validator. So for example's sake, I will go ahead and pick a very trustworthy validator. Keep in mind they all do charge varying commission rates, right? As you can see, Cosmos Station for being one of the most trusted is charging one of the highest commission rates you're going to see here at 8.9%. Outlier Ventures is charging a 10% commission. This is taken from your rewards, right? Staking Land is charging 9%, etc., etc. And you can also see the total amount of FET staked with each validator, and that can help you make a more informed decision. You don't want to necessarily stake to a validator that isn't very trusted by the community, that hasn't delegated a lot of FET to the validator. So for example's sake here, we're gonna go ahead and select Cosmos Station just because I know they run a very legit operation. So we'll go ahead and hit stake and now we will select the amount of FET that we actually wanna stake. So let's go ahead and stake 300 FET tokens and then hit stake. From here again, we will approve the transaction and just like that, our fetch is now staked on the mainnet. And we can also hit our wallet up here and it will take us and give us some information about what we have going on. And we can scroll down and see our delegations. You can see I have 300 FET delegated to Cosmos Station. And I can also claim my rewards right here. This is also how I can unstake or switch validators. If I wanted to switch validators, I would hit transfer stake. If I wanted to unstake, I would hit remove stake right here. And if I wanted to claim my rewards, I'm gonna let this accrue obviously, but I can hit claim rewards right here. And I can go ahead and claim my rewards. Now, you're probably wondering, Connor, what's the APR percentage on the staking payout? How long is the unstaking time? Well, we can find that information directly on the Fetch AI network within the ecosystem tab. And we can get the details about the staking. Right now, the reward rate is up to 13%. It does take 21 days to actually unlock your stake. All right, so this is the information that you are looking for right here directly on the Fetch AI official website. I will leave this link down in the description below so that you can go ahead and do your own research. Nonetheless, this is how you actually go ahead and stake your Fetch AI tokens on the FET mainnet. So in this video, I showed you how to stake FET tokens on the Fetch AI mainnet. I hope that you did enjoy the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you're new to Crypto Empire and you're not already subscribed, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.